of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as for Slough. As you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America. In offices and factories, on farms and branches, in mines and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mama me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a feel so terrible today. I don't even feel like to write to you. So don't be surprised if you don't get this letter because uh, I'm going to decide not to send it. <laughs> Why am I feeling so bad, the Mama Mia? Well, is, is my antique business. In America, if you stock don't move, they say you got to not turn over. <laughs> Mamma mia, my stock is never turn over. It's just a lady like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to some places that in America, to be good to business man, you got to be high, fresh salesman. But this I'm never going to be my precious only 102. <laughs> <laughs> For once, I'm a thought would... Would it be a good idea if, if I'm a study how good a salesman is work? So I went inside the big appliance store. In the 15 minutes, salesman is a sold me toaster, percolator, vacuum cleaner, electric blanket, midget radio, and a little book that's good for 12 monthly payments. <laughs> but a funny thing, Mamma Mia, was uh, I turned out to be a better salesman than him because just with a few words, I'm a sold him back everything in a one minute. <laughs> All I'm a said is, uh, I'm a no got the money for the 12 payments. Anyway, this is the kind of talent for selling I'm a not really got. Sometimes I think I was a born with only two talents, eating and sleeping. <laughs> and I'm a think if I'm a not find this talent for selling, I'm a sooner going to lose my talent for eating. But it's really no joke, Mama, me, because... Because my business is to go from a slow business to no business. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mamma Mia. I'm going to hear bigger noise outside my door. Maybe it's a customer. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Any customers you come in today, little cabbage puss? Well, <laughs> Pasquale, uh, it was a tree, but uh, there wasn't a real customer. So first, fellas, I want to find out the time. The second, I want to to know where is the subway. Third, the fella, he's asking me for light. That's a nice, Luigi. You was a selling of watches, a street maps, and a matches, you'd be a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, all right, Pasquale. If you feel like to laugh, to come back next week when I'm out of business. <laughs> then you can laugh off of your sides. <laughs> next week out of business, eh? What's happened, Luigi? Don't tell me you made enough money to retire. You think I'm a fool, now, huh? Pasquale, you ever hear me, me talk about uh, Mr. Jenkins? Jenkins, yeah, that's your job. Uh, fellows leave a load of his empties laying around your store. Huh? And you know why he's leaving them in my store, Pasquale? Sure, sure. The way you do business, if they uh, his antiques will worry themselves 50 years older. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice. I'm glad you think everything is so funny. Well, I'm sorry, Luigi. I didn't know things were so bad. Would you honest? Let's see, now, what can I do to help you out most? But I'm, I'm afraid there's no use of Pasquale. Like they say in America, I'm, I'm, I'm a camera to the end of my rope. Luigi, if only you was to marry my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> Pasquale, maybe I'm going to come to the end of my rope, but I'm not going to hang myself. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Last week, Rosa and me, we went to the beach. You should have seen her. You know what she looks like in a Catalina swimsuit? Yeah, like a Catalina island. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, 
hello, hello, lady. Come, come on in. Now. I'm, I'm a Mr. Basco. Uh, yes, Mr. Basco. What are you asking for that chair you have in your window? On oh, the window, that. Oh, that's a fifty dollars. Yes. Oh, that's reasonable. I'd like to buy it. Oh, it's wonderful. I want it delivered by two o'clock. Oh, I, 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 I should have delivered. Yes, you do deliver your merchandise, of course. Well, I'm. I'm not got a truck. Oh, he's got a whole fleet of trucks, lady. But uh, the Truck Drivers Association, they got a big picnic today. <laughs> no, but the lady, lady, lady chair is not, is, is not so heavy to carry it. Oh, now, Mr. Basco, surely you wouldn't expect me to take the chair in the bus with me. Well, you'd be sure to have a seat. <laughs> well, I don't think I want that chair after all. Oh, no, but the lady, lady, I, I'm going to carry it with you. We each are going to take a one a foot. Uh, never mind. Good day. Now, lady, please. Each are going to take a one a foot. Oh, you big a foot to grab her. <laughs> no wonder your business is so terrible. Every time you can't deliver, you lose a customer. That's right, Pasquale, but, 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 but what am I can do? What you can do? Buy yourself a little truck and a deliver. That's what. Yeah, but Pasquale, it, it's a cost of money to buy a truck. Wake up, Luigi. Today you don't buy for cash. You got a new thing. It's called a credit. K-R-E-D-T, credit. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sure, but... I never thought of this, Pasquale. Look, Luigi, that job of Mr. Jenkins, he had to come around till next week to take away the antiques. Maybe if you hurry up and get yourself a little truck and start moving some of the stuff, maybe he's going to give you one more chance. Yeah, sure, all right. Then I'm going to look for a truck company in a telephone book right now. Yeah, but the wait, wait, all, all I'm got is $25. Well, I would be happy to lend you a little extra money to buy the oh. truck. If for you is to consider marrying a Rosa. <laughs> is there nothing to do, no, Pasquale? I'm a want to just the one a truck and not the two. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, Pasquale. I'm going to use my $25 for a down payment. Goodbye. Hey, wait, where you going? To the truck company. From now on, I'm going to deliver. <laughs> Here's at the truck place, yeah. Hmm, sign it says, uh, a new and a used truck, see, Mr. Flinton. No, it's a Flinton. On this corner since 1921. Oh, Mr. Flint on the corner since 1921. <laughs> I guess he can all find an apartment. Oh, here comes a man. Yes, can I help you? Here, yes, sure. Oh, I'm, I'm going like to see Mr. Flint, the fellow who's been on the corner for 30 years. I'm Mr. Flint. Oh, you Mr. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm a Luigi Basque. Well, how do you do? Lately, not so good. Oh? You see, Mr. Flint, my business ain't got so much to turn over because I'm not going to deliver to the customer. So, so I'm thought to, maybe you're going to sell me a truck. Well, I'll be glad to. What type of truck do you have in mind? Well, uh... A regular type with a four wheels. <laughs> Couldn't you be more specific? We have all kinds of trucks here, Mr. Basco. Floor trucks, platform trucks, sound trucks, lift trucks, and, of course, the trucks with the scoop and boom attachments. Please, I'm not going to want a scoop and a boom. <laughs> all I'm going to want is a plain a little truck for carrying things for the customer. That's all. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, uh, do you do much business? Why? Well, I, I'm trying to find out what sort of truck will best suit your needs, Mr. Pasco. If you do a lot of business, you'd need a five- or eight-ton truck. And if you don't do that much business, I'd suggest a three- or four-ton truck. Uh, just what does your business require? Well, require, huh? Where it's going now, kitty cat is it too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure your business will get better. Well, take a look at some of these trucks in our lot, Mr. Pasco. Which one do you like? Well, let me see now. Oh, that's the one over there. The one over there. That's a beautiful. I admire your taste, Mr. Basco. And that's one truck that uses very little gas and oil. Oh, that's a good. All right. Let's make a deal. That truck costs $3,000. That's a deal at $3,000? <laughs> oh, yes. Why? Mr. Flint, you better put on the cards and stop the dealing. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do you take a down payment, you know? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, how much of a down payment are you prepared to make? Twenty-five dollars. 
$25. Yeah. Mr. Basco. <laughs> You're joking. Mr. Flint, uh, I, I, I'm a nut. <laughs> serious. Even if we agreed to finance the deal through the bank or the auto club, you'd still have to lay out at least $1,000. Oh, one... $1,000? Too much for your pocket? I'm not even a got a pocket. <laughs> Please, Mr. Flint, I'm, I'm going to get a something so I can deliver my antiques to the customers. Otherwise, Mr. Jenkins, he's going to take back his, all his stock next week. Maybe you're going to take my $25, uh huh? Don't forget, it's all the cash. I'm sorry, Mr. Vasco. I'm afraid you just couldn't get a thing with the kind of money you got. Yeah, but uh, but it must be something. I... Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to get a big idea. He yeah, sure. Why have I not think of this before? M- Mr. Vasco, believe me, you won't get a thing for $25. No, you're wrong, Mr. Flint. I'm going to get a great idea. I'm going to make the deliveries. <laughs> Pascal, I'm a got it, I'm a got it. What? Go on, the Luigi, you got the truck already? Here, yeah, Pascal, come, come on outside. Look yeah. for yourself. Why, well, it's a big <laughs> truck, Luigi. How many wheels? The wind requires. <laughs> What's that? That, the Pascal, that's, that's for my deliveries. Oh. That's a horse and a wagon. Now it's my turn to say, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we'd like to mention that it's a good idea to chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum while you work. You see, getting your teeth into a smooth piece of gum gives you a lot of satisfaction. It helps keep you from getting tense and jittery, so you naturally feel better and work better. Yes, friends, millions of men and women have found that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a real help on the job. And they enjoy that refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint flavor, too. Try it and see for yourself. While you're working, slip a stick of Wrigley Spearmint in your mouth, chew it, enjoy it. you like what it does for you. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm a bought myself a horse and a wagon for my $25. And right away, I'm a put up a big sign in the window. We deliver to you house. This we means me and a horse. Oh, you should see the horse, Mamma Mia. He's a look so beautiful. Except for one thing. His back has got a bigger hole in the middle like a camel. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I don't remember if, if this is how he was when I bought him. Or if it's a happen after roses are sat down on him. <laughs> but still, Mamma Mia, the horses are bringing me luck. Because already today I'm a sold of three antiques which, which I'm a promise to deliver. And, and you should have seen me delivering with the, my new horse. How proud I'm of her. All right, come on, come on, Giuseppe. Come on, we got to deliver the table by one o'clock. Come on, come on, up the stairs, up the stairs. That's the boy, come on. <laughs> Mamma mia. Hey, Giuseppe, is no time to stop. Oh, maybe he's out of sugar. No, come on, come on, go, please, you chef. Don't stop it now. That's the boy now. Come on, up, 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 up. Hey, wait, wait, you chef. You pass the red light. Oh, you chef, you passed it. <laughs> Mamma mia, I wonder if a horse is colorblind. <laughs> hey, you chef, you should have never passed the red light. That's, that's all right, but, but you don't have to stop it now. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Mamma mia, horses don't want to go. He's a mad on me. Oh, please, please, Giuseppe. Come on, let's go. Come on, all the traffic, everybody. Now, don't be mad. Don't be hurt. I, I'm not meaning nothing about it. Oh, Giuseppe, please, please, please. I, I, I'm apologizing. Come on, you're holding up traffic. Buy yourself a car. Oh, no, please, please. Please, everybody, don't, don't, don't holler on it, Giuseppe, don't, please. What's the matter with you? This, that's the first day of work for me. He's nervous. 
Oh, come on, come on, Joseph. Be nice to us. Come on. Who we all love you? Come on. No, 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 Joseph. No. Mamma mia, now need to sit down. <laughs> Luvisi, my fellow boob. <laughs> hello, Schultz. Some hello. Sounds more like goodbye. Schultz, is, is, is there nothing but a trouble, a trouble, and, and, and then a more trouble? Ach, what's the trouble, Luigi? Is your trouble got to do with that wagon you got standing outside the store? That's right, Schultz. <laughs> Luigi, uh... <laughs> now, you're going to think I'm crazy, but uh, I could have swore I just heard a horse laughing in your bedroom. <laughs> sure, see, you ain't a crazy. What? Luigi, you're joking. If you got to take it in borders, you take in people, not horses. <laughs> Schultz, the horse is in the backyard. You got a horse in the backyard? Schultz, Schultz, I'm a got a horse in the wagon because the truck was too expensive to deliver and take it to the customer. But when I'm a start to deliver, horse take afternoon a nap in the traffic. People, they all a blood of horns, and then they help me push Giuseppe to the, the antique shop. Now Giuseppe is in the backyard. He don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> and he's too tired to work. Oh, Luigi, are you for shimmer? <laughs> Luigi, why don't you join a booby hatch and lead a nice, quiet, normal life? Yeah, but the worst part of all the shoots of Mr. Jenkins, the job, he's coming a few days, take back all the antiques because, because I'm a no got to turn over. Oh, that is bad. Then I'm, I'm going to have no business and no job and no, no nothing. Well, uh, Schmeil, Luigi. If I see somebody who wants to buy it, a second-hand horse, I'm going to call you. <laughs> no, 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 Schultz. What's the trouble, is it? Well, I'm a... I'm, I'm, I'm a fellow in love with you, Giuseppe. And I'm a no kind of salam. Ach, that's just like you, you little Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Two <laughs> legs, four legs. To you, a friend is a friend. Thank you, Giuseppe. Yeah, but meanwhile, sharp, Luigi, smile. <laughs> Be like me, always happy, always laughing. <laughs> 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 My rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm better go back and see what... You... Hey, Luigi, where you going? Oh, hello, Pasquale. I was just going in the back to see what the Giuseppe is doing. You know, I'm a feel sorry for him. He's, he's a feel so bad. That's a nice. Cheer him up, Luigi. Ask him if he feels like a play in a game of Canazza. <laughs> oh, you, you had to get a horse. Yeah, well, come on, we, 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 we're going to see what he's doing in Pesquale, huh? <laughs> Hello, Luigi. Hello, Pesquale. Hello, Luigi. 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 Hello, Looks like you've got a ton of food laying around this yard. Yeah, but, but the horse was hungry, Pasquale, so, so I'm, 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 I'm empty out of my icebox for him. You know, does it cost a lot to feed a horse? Luigi, that's making me real angry. If you can support a horse, you can support my daughter, Rosa. That's <laughs> impossible, Pasquale. Besides, who ever heard of feeding a horse a bread and a butter and a milk and all that crazy stuff you got out of here? Oh, what's the matter? That's no good to eat. That's that terrible, that. If you want to keep the horse a strong and a healthy, so is it going to work for you? You got to feed him a real solid American food. Yeah, like a what, Pasquale? Spaghetti and a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to bring him out a couple of pails of fuller from my restaurant, and maybe a little red wine to wash it down. <laughs> well, all right, Pasquale, but but another too much wine, huh? Maybe he's going to be driving later. <laughs> Uh, what's the big idea waking me up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Eh? Hey, Pasquale, come on, you better hurry up. 
And the hostage got a belly ache, you know, can I sleep? So what? The trauma box and those are shut eye pills and tell him to go back to bed. Come on, first of I'm I'm a call up a hostage doctor and I'm finding a telephone book. But till he's a come, maybe maybe you're gonna do something, huh? Maybe I'm gonna do something. Yeah, sure, after all, the horses have got a sicker from you, spaghetti and the meat the balls. <laughs> if that horse will tell you that a bigger lie. All right, all right, come on. Pasquale, just, just to look on him. <laughs> oh, poor Giuseppe, he's, he's a look terrible. And how? Even a max of fact that couldn't make him look good. <laughs> hold his mouth open, Luigi, so I can look in with this search of life. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, why you want to look in his mouth, Pasquale? So I can count the meatballs. <laughs> Stop asking a stupid question. Try to open up his mouth. Well, all right, I'm, I, I'll try, Pasquale. <laughs> See, see, there's no use, Pasquale. He, he, he doesn't want to open up his mouth. Why not? Well, because, because I'm going to push him in the traffic today, and Giuseppe is, is a promise himself he's never going to talk to me. Oh. Look, Luigi, i got a better things to do than to hang around your backyard at 3 o'clock in the morning holding hands with a sick horse. Yeah, but Pasquale, if he's a die, he's going to be kind of humid to balls. And he won't be the first one. Now, listen, Luigi, if uh, you pardon don't... Pardon me, gentlemen, I'm Dr. Shelley. I saw nobody in front. Oh, just, you're just in the time of doctor. And my horse, my my poor horse, he's, he's a very sick, he's a suffer, terrible. Oh. No, 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 don't cry, yourself. Don't cry. Nice doctor, he's going to fix you up. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem to have any temperature. He isn't fretful or colicky. Has he been kicking up much? This horse only kicks when you ask him to work. Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> Hey, doctor, all last night and tonight that a, that a poor horse is no laid down once even for a little nap. All he's to do is stand up there with his eyes closed. Mr. Vasco, some horses sleep standing up. Huh? Sure, very dope knows of that. Where's the horse going to get enough money to buy himself a bed? <laughs> Here, but a doctor, you, you think um, maybe the horses will feel bad because... Uh, because of the meatballs that we was to give him to eat? Meatballs? Yeah. You should never force a horse to eat meatballs, or any meat for that matter. Huh? You should feed him hay, oats, grain. Remember, horses are not carnivorous. They are herbivorous. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but a doctor, if I'm going to understand those words, how the horses are going to understand them? <laughs> However, I have a suspicion about this horse. Just a minute while I open up his mouth and have a look at the teeth. <laughs> this horse wouldn't open up his mouth unless he got a 20-year contract from Gene Autry. <laughs> a lump of sugar will do the trick. There. Ah, ah, just as I thought. Something is wrong with his teeth, huh? What teeth? <laughs> is there no gut? No teeth? No wonder it's a complain about my meatballs. <laughs> Mr. Basco, you own this animal, yet you didn't know he was completely toothless. How am I supposed to know? I'm going to get this horse two days, but he's never smiled once. <laughs> no doubt about it. Mr. Basco, do you know what your horse is suffering from? What? Old age. Old age? How old he is? Well, I should judge him to be, well, about 20 to 25 years of age. So what? If he's a live right, he can live till he's 80 or 90. You don't seem to realize how old this horse is. At his present age, he's as old as a 90-year-old human. Oh, no, no. Hey, doctor, what, what do you think I should do for him? Well, to begin with, you you shouldn't let him work. I think the horse is going to agree to that. That's what he stops. And if, if you want to do right by an animal that has seen long years of hard labor, you should see to it that he spends the last few years of his life in absolute rest. Preferably in some warm climate where he can eat plenty of good, clean grass. Mamma mia, for a horse, I'm gonna close up my antique shop and I move to Kentucky. <laughs> well, I'm leaving, Mr. Basco. You'll get my bill in the morning. Sure, sure. All right. Good night, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so funny, Pasquale? 
Do it, you look. You want to do right by the horse, eh? Well, it's a big pity on him. All right, Luigi. I'm going to make you a fair proposition. You marry my Rosa, I'm going to send the three of you. All expenses are paid on a honeymoon to Kentucky. Some have got a better idea, Pasquale. I stay here and let the Rosa go with the horse. <laughs> Don't be so ippity puppity, Mr. Smart Alex. <laughs> you in a pretty bad spot to here with this horse out of your hands. I'm the only one that can help you out. Now be nice to Rosa. No, but please, please, please. I'm, I'm a got the horse to worry about. Well, look, look, Luigi. I see Rosa's woke up, but she's standing by the kitchen. Now, once in a for all, I'm going to call her over. You can choose her between Rosa and the horse. Rosa! 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 Rosa, I just told Luigi I'm a true with him and it's a crazy horse of business. Right and now, he's got a pick between you and the horse. You agree with me, Rosa? (laughs) (laughs) Pasquale, I pick the horse. Any minute now that Mr. Jenkins is coming to take back all his antiques. That's going to mean a finish for you. I know, Pasquale. Luigi, if you would only listen and do the sensible. Hello, Mr. Pasquale. Oh, Mama, may I see Mr. Jenkins? Please, uh, Mr. Jenkins, give me some more time. I- I'm going to sell all you in. Uh, Mr. Pasquale, Pasquale, I noticed a wagon outside your store. Uh huh. The wagon is belonging to me. Mr. Pasquale, the antique department at Marshall Fields has been looking all over the country for a wagon like that. They're my biggest customers, you know, and if I could get it for you. Is that them, a wagon? Uh... It's an antique. A genuine collector's item. One of the first Midwestern ice wagons. Uh, Mr. Jenkins, you don't take back your antiques from me. And, and I'm going to give you the wagon for nothing. Well, fine, Mr. Basco. The stock remains in your store. The wagon belongs to me. Is that the deal? Uh, uh, that's the deal. And because I'm feeling so good, Mr. Jenkins, I'm also going to give you free of charge the only antique I've got in my store. Wonderful. And what's that? My horse, did you say? <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, Mr. Jenkins, he's took away the horses, you said. And I'm going to get the one or more chance to sell his antiques. Mamma Mia, you, you're not going to believe it, this, but, but even with all the trouble that horses have brought to me, I'm missing a lot. And just so I'm a shouldn't feel it too lonesome, I'm going into Pasquale's now and take a good look on the horse. <laughs> you love the son of Luigi Vasco, Lily McGann. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a grand, inexpensive taste treat to bring home to your family. Children love to chew gum, and they really go for that lively, long-lasting Wrigley's Spearmint flavor. Grown-ups know that chewing aids digestion and helps keep the teeth clean and bright. And they do enjoy the pleasant chewing and refreshing, delicious flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint. So treat yourself and your family often to Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. It costs so little, and it tastes so good. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Norman McDonald. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. Music is directed by Lud Gluck. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>